we're completely surrounded by science, technology and engineering in more ways than obviously than we've ever been. And, and this integration of, of technology into our lives will only increase. I get to go meet people, I get to build apps and, and do fun stuff and, and you know, make, you know, make, make a difference. We have bean bags, Xbox, we um, Nerf guns, that, that sort of thing. Like, so it's actually, it, it's a really cool place to be as well as opposed from you know, just working all the time. So at the moment, Ireland is quickly becoming the Silicon Valley of Europe. It's never been a better time to get into technology. You know, there's an incredible ecosystem here um, built by both the multinationals who come in, the likes of Google and Facebook and Twitter and so on, um, and they own homegrown Irish technology companies. Everybody these days has an iPhone or an Android phone in their pockets, so they basically have the equivalent of a PlayStation 2 or a PlayStation 3 in their pocket with them at all times. There's so many jobs in gaming, there's so many really cool companies starting up. So you've got companies from, you know, large organisations who've just moved in, to well-established companies, to small and medium enterprises, and it's really, it's really, really an exciting time within, to be within the technology sector. I get into the office usually about half nine and um, check a few emails. The rest of the lads are normally in by about 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock we go for our first break, which is a, a good time to have a break when no one's actually done anything yet. I'm working in the area of nanotechnology. What we're working on today is, is not what you can buy today, more what you might be able to, uh, to use in five to ten years. Well, that's Average day starts with coffee, of course. Um, so come in, uh, check my email. Your feature request might come in. So a client might say to us, you know, this is this is really great, but you know, can we do it slightly differently, or can you add this feature to it? So one of the best things of a day might be a meeting. Meetings sometimes have a bad reputation, but it could be really exciting coming in and saying, okay, guys, I have a really good idea for how to solve this particular problem. What attracted me to technology was that it's incredibly empowering. That you know, technology is this completely even playing field. That you know, as easy as a government can make a website and spread a message, you know, so too can an individual. I suppose what I you know like about my job is that it doesn't really feel like a job. That I just get to have fun every day, meet new people, do interesting things, and you know, make a dent in the universe with my keyboard. I love programming. I'm absolutely really really passionate about it if I wasn't working as a programmer that's what I'd be doing in my spare time anyway so it, like it's it's awesome to get up and go in to work every day I look forward to, to what I'm going to be doing for the day you should be looking at physics you should be looking at chemistry and mathematics because these are the key skills that we'll be you know looking for in, in, in candidates for jobs in the future but I also think you need to educate yourself in other things music Languages, very important. We're noticing a great demand for the French, German, the Scandinavian languages, um, anybody as well with Spanish, Italian, you know, definitely a lot of the technology companies would love to see graduates with those type of uh, language skills. Other subjects like art, for example, and, and design, technical design, that sort of thing. So in our team, we're pretty much, we've broken down between programmers and designers and artists. I got interested in technology because when I was about six I was playing Club Penguin a lot and I decided to build a cheats website so I learned HTML and started building websites. I think it is a, a, an area that students should get into because it is the future so they should get started early and learn how to program. Well I did computer applications in DCU and specialised in software engineering after college when I actually started working or even during college when I went and did my internship that was when I started learning how how software and how companies really really work. Some courses do offer the six to nine months work experience so that's brilliant I would absolutely say if you can get that I would run at those type of courses. This really you know bringing up to speed on what the company does, what technologies they use, the culture of the company, how the teams work together.
Right now in Ireland is definitely a really interesting and exciting time to think about getting into the technology sector. There's so many jobs and opportunities out there. Some of the biggest companies in the world, and Google and Facebook, some of the biggest gaming companies like Big Fish, they're all here. They're all hiring constantly. The jobs that they're providing are real high end and they offer a lot of opportunity to progress. So your career opportunity really you know, you're looking at a career to 20, 25 years in technology and then you can move into more management. You know, the opportunities on offer are completely unrivaled. The technology community in Ireland is fantastic. It's incredibly easy to reach out to somebody and meet up with them for a coffee and chat. When you're really passionate about what you do um, and other people are really passionate about it and they believe it and they support it um, and people really avail of it, it, it gives you such incredible drive and, and momentum. Online, there is a ton of groups around the country doing interesting things and meeting up and discussing technology. That's a great way to get to meet people who can help you and also to learn.